Well, first off with the uh, Eric Jones Day that you had today, um, you know, a lot of drivers are on vacation in some nice spots. I heard about them when I was covering the race, but you're here with your fans. What does it mean for you to get back to the city of Byron? Well, it's always good for me. I mean, it's 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 still kind of home for me. It still feels like home, and uh, anytime we can come out and, and, and thank the people for the support, is it's just really kind of close to home for me. It's uh, a big core group of my fans are from this area, and to have a, a day where we can kind of thank them for, for being supporters of uh, my career, this means a lot to me, and uh, I love that we had a great turnout. We had a nice nice day, nice weather, and, and everybody was able to come out and have a good time. Now, how active are you in planning this? I mean, this was fun. People bounced from one activity to the other. They had a great time. I mean, was you heavily involved, or did you just, your mom says, trust me, this is going to work? Um, well, I had the idea. I wanted to do something like this and kind of gave up groundwork for it, I guess. But then really from there, it was uh, it was Amy, my mom, um, Rob Vandermark here in, in Byron, uh, who really came and put it all together. You know, I was just able to, I did the easy part. I said, hey, I want to do this. How do we make it happen? And they really took and ran with it the last, uh, really, it, it took about a year to really plan this event. So it was nice to see it all come together. And when you put this much work and effort into an event, you want to see it play out nicely. And, and I feel like today did. Uh, uh, I'm going to get do a follow up. The six thousand dollar check. Uh, you, how, how in the world did you get involved with that? For a, you're never going to probably see a race here. So why did you end up doing it? Well, I I wanted to give something to the school and and give back to them and and a way, obviously giving back is good for me and and feels good. But just to thank them as well for letting us use their grounds for this last couple of days and, and setting up our event here and and giving us their parking lots and everything and, and I was trying to find out something they needed help with and the track and field team has is, is needed some work and, and it was the one thing that I could uh, kind of help out with. Now turning to NASCAR, now three years ago you were a rookie, now you're a young veteran, uh, I think just a solid veteran in NASCAR. What have you learned from day one to now on how to pace yourself and prepare yourself for a race? Because you had to been a wide-eyed driver in the beginning and now, uh, now you're not. Yeah, it's been a big change, you know, you kind of learn as you go how to deal with the longer races, the competition, and uh, three years in, you feel like you have a good idea of the tracks and the competitors, and you've raced with the guys enough to know um, how to race everybody and how everybody's going to race you, and um, that's that takes time to learn, but it's definitely changed the way I've approached each week over the years. Um, every time I go back to a track, you learn a little bit, and, and that's kind of been the biggest thing for me. And finally... So far, your season's been pretty good, but I think you feel like you got a little bit of meat left on the bone. Well, I, obviously, winning a lot of races is big, but is there any, anything else on your short list that's going to help you get there? Well, I, I think that's what we just need to do. You know, we've, we've got such fast cars, and we've got a great team and good pit crew, and we just need to get it all put together and, and have the solid days. You know, we've had races where I feel like we've had opportunities to win and haven't been able to capitalize. And I've, the nice thing is we've still got months to go till the playoffs start, and I feel like we can win a few races before then. So uh, I'm going to try to do it and, and hopefully make it happen. Well, for Eric Jones Day in Byron, Michigan, at Byron High School, this is uh, Roy Jakers, Midwest Sports Scene. We expect you to, can you practice your podium on the way out? <laughs> I, right. yeah. I know that you're going to be there. I am yeah. very confident. Thanks. Thank